Hello, my friends. I'm Clover, and this is Gas. Uh, this is the puzzle called Bond Me, which was originally posted by Philip Newman on November 14th, 2024. And this is a sandwich Sudoku. So in sandwich Sudoku, we have normal Sudoku rules. So we're placing the digits one through nine, once each in each row, each column, and each outlined three by three region. And in addition to that, we have some clues outside of the grid, and clues outside of the grid tell you the sum of the digits that are quote-unquote sandwiched between the 1 and the 9 in that row or column. So for example, in column 1, the 1 and 9 must be right next to each other because there is a sum of 0 sandwiched in between them. In row 1, wherever the 1 and 9 are, any digits that are in between them have to sum to 3. In this case, because we can't reuse the 1, that means that we have to have a digit of exactly 3 in between the 1 and the 9. So in this column, the 9 has to be here, because we have 9s here and here. And the 8 is also going to have to be here. Now, it's going to be in one of these cells. Just trying to get the lay of the land here, kind of get the feel of this puzzle. Ah, so this 2 here tells me that 1 is going to be in one of those cells, and 2 is going to be on one or the other side of it. 7 here, okay, so the 1 can't be here because that would give me a total of 0, so the 1 has got to be over here with a 7 in the middle. Now to make a sum of 6, I can't put the 9 down here because that would go up to 7 or higher, so the 9 is going to have to go there with a 6. And to make 3, I can't put the 1 there, because there's already a 1 in the region, so the 1 will go right there. And that's going to place my 2. And then these digits are going to be 4, 5, and 6, and the 2 is going to go in that cell. Now, what? So let's see. Uh, that can't be 5, 4, or 6. This isn't going to be a 1, because I wouldn't be able to make a total of 0. So the 1 is going to be in one of those cells. Okay, so because of the clue of 4 above column 3, I'm going to have 1 and 4 right there. So these are now going to be 2 and 5. The remaining 3 cells here have to contain 3, 5, and 6, so that's a 3, because of the 4, 5, 6 there. These are going to be 1, 8, and 9. Now this can't be an 8, because then the 0 clue would be broken. So that's either a 1 or 9. So that means when we're making 11, we have to put the other 1 or 9 either there, which is actually impossible since we've used both 1 and 9 in that column, or right here. And then these three cells will sum to 11, so these other two have to sum to 5 plus 6 to make 11. So these are going to be 2 and 3, and they'll appear in that order. And then to finish this region, we need a 7 and a 4. So now in this row, I'm going to need a 5, a 7, and an 8 just to complete the row with Sudoku. To make an 8 in this column, I have to go either up or down from whatever this cell is, because this is definitely either a 1 or a 9, so it's one of the two ends of the sandwich. It can't be up here, because then I would know that my total was already greater than 8. So it must be down here, which would make that a 6, and that's not a 7 by Sudoku as well. Okay, what next? So I need to make a total of 5 in this row. The only two ways to do that in Sandwich Sudoku are 2 plus 3 and just 5 by itself, and 2 plus 3 is already ruled out by the fact that a 2 is right here. So this is going to have to be my sandwich, because 5 has to be now in the middle of the sandwich. So that'll be my 9 with a 1. So now 1 is going to be in one of those two cells. Uh, to make a total of 9, I can't put the 1 or 9 over here, because this sum is a minimum of 13, so that definitely can't come out to 9, so that has to be my 8. And then I'm going to need to create the sandwich sum over here somewhere. I can't put the 1 or 9 here, so my 1 and 9 have to be there and there. So that can't be a 1, because the 1 is in one of those cells. So there's my 9, there's my 1, 9, and 1. So now these two will sum to 9, can't be 2 and 7, can't be 4 and 5, because I've already used 7 and 4 in the row. So this will be 3 and 6, and then that will be a 1. And I'm just finishing the region with some combo of 2, 5, 7, and 8. So to finish the row, I need a 9 and a 1 in these two cells. They'll go here and here. Oh, that's not quite right. 
it's not gonna be a nine and a one. <laughs> That's gonna be my nine. That's my one. And then here I need a seven. Actually, oh, here I need a four. Okay, get it together, Clover. Then I need five and eight to finish the region. Five and eight, two and five, and that's a two eight pair, making this guy seven and this guy five. It's still pretty early in the morning here. Um, so here I need three, four, and seven to finish the column. And to finish this region, I'm going to need two, three, seven, and eight. These can't be two or seven. So that's my eight, that's my three, two, and seven. The seven makes this four. And we're just about at the classic Sudoku point of this solve. And this is going to be a five. That's going to be a three, seven pair, which resolves because of three in column six. Two, eight resolves. This is a beautiful theme in this puzzle, by the way. Um, the zero, two, four, six, eight. 357911. Um, that's a very Philip theme, and I appreciate that very much. Four and nine to finish the column. These will be five and seven in that order. Six and five. Three and six to finish this row. Five and nine to finish this row, and we're very nearly done. We need a four and an eight. And that is how you solve Philip Newman's Bond Me. Hope you enjoyed that one. The link to solve it yourself is in the description below this video. And I will catch you again in three days.